What, what, what are you thinking, bro? Theodin is running it. <laughs> Angry. Hello, my friends of Middle Earth, and welcome to the Beyond Sanders channel. My name is Shanks, and today we are going to cast a 2v2 replay on a beautiful and famous map, Anorian. Between Rohan and Rohan versus Rohan and Mordor. What is Mordor doing over here? It's a Rohan civil war, but Mordor doesn't want to miss the chance and kind of sneaks in like the Grim of Warrantong to have a part in this 2v2. And of course, for that reason, the two sides on the right side, I mean, the two players have an advantage because they have a specific different faction. So having two different factions in a 2v2 is gonna favor you quite a lot. Even though Double Rohan is not weak by all means, one player can go for the normal Rohirrim, the other player can go for the Rohir Marchers, but in late game, Mordor leadership is gonna be quite strong. So this Rohan can go for the Rohir Marchers himself with the Eye of Sauron early game, later on the Darkness and the Witch King, and the Rohir Marchers will become unkillable. You can see the Eye is actually quite impactful in those kind of situations. Hobbit is trying to defend, but he is being chunked. In the meantime, commitment on the Slaughterhouse here. And it might go down. Mostafa is about to lose it. And Hobbit maybe can cloak. He's going for the Haradrim's opening. Haradrim's very good against peasants, but they are kind of weak against Hobbit. Look, Hobbit, boom, one shot. Oh, but he's getting junk, 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 junk. Oh, one shot. Orcs are turning into black orcs. Easy defense for Mordor. He will be able to reclaim the settlement. And he has also this settlement. But he's not going for the uh, lumber mill workers for whatever reason i would prefer the lumber mill workers every single day of the week because they will give you the wood bonus you know making all your structures inside your castle way cheaper very very good okay stable for this rohan and this rohan going for full farms so what is his plan is he gonna go for the legolas is he gonna go for the elma or is he gonna go for the middle camp which is also like a very solid option you know you, to control the middle you can build a well for example for your ally so he doesn't need to build a well and he can save the spot for something else and he can always pressure the enemy settlements and get back to the middle heal up and do this over and over again Morda was able to creep this with the Haradrims no orc strategy very solid I like that one and also full farms for this Rohan player over here who is Hippie Snacks, okay? Against Figuero and his ally Daniel Epic, who is trying to creep this with the peasants. Should be able to do this with this additional peasant coming, but he needs to use draft on them. Very important without draft, peasants are equally strong as the Lumber Mill workers. So they will lose the 1v1 one -one situation even against orcs. I think he's going for Legolas. Yeah, boy. And this player going for Legolas too. So it's going to be two prints of Mercury Elves. However, the Mordor making sure that there are no more creeps left on the map. You know, that's going to be the big problem. Our Adrims are indeed great creepers. And he has a full base with Troll Cage coming up. Remember, these structures will give you the food bonus, making your trolls cheaper. So now the troll will cost 840 which is very cost efficient for a mighty creature from the middle earth. Elma. What you can do is you can go for double Elma, double Elvin. Double Elvin is quite, quite difficult to deal with for Mordor because you can one shot an Asgul, you can one shot a Witch King, you can one shot a Troll, even Drama Troll can be one shotted. And double Legolas too. Like Rohan is the faction with the most heroes, okay? So you have two Theodines, two Glorious Charge. Even though leadership doesn't stack, but you can have crazy damage power with two spears from Elvin, two spears from Elma, two Hawk Strike from Legolas, two extra from Gimli. Lots of shots you can use from a long and safe distance. This Legolas creeping, he's gonna get level 4 out of that. Easy, easy, easy leveling. The Rohan player, Daniel, was able to capture this middle camp. He also has Legolas, but his Legolas is only level 2, so that means he doesn't stand a chance against this Legolas who is creeping the troll there like a madman. Look at this. Bam. 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 Shooting like a machine gun. And very strong, by the way, against the runes. You will see it yourself. The runes, you can see. Three shots. All it takes. Boom, boom. Level 3. Just kill, 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 kill. Why are you running? Theodin has been recruited. There is a Legolas somewhere. Here, very strong hero 
against heroes like Theodin. Theodin is very really weak. Oh, be careful. Does he have heal? Oh, he has heal. Okay. Keep chasing. In those situations, you want to keep more walking. If he would keep walking with him a little bit and wait for the Hulk Strike. But now you can't because he's as fast as you and you can't kill him anymore. You want to keep moving with him, you know? He's over chasing. But there's a troll. Oh, he's gonna do it! He's gonna do it! He lost the vision, uh, he lost the movement speed advantage while moving this way. He should move like this way, like this way, straight line. And he lost his Legolas. That's huge, by the way, for the double Rohan team. Level 5 Legolas. Holy. Yes, the leadership unlocked for the elves too. That's amazing. This player making combos, by the way. Very smart move. I think it's good. Because of Drama Troll, you can make your combos pretty much unkillable. But losing Legolas will cost you lots of momentum. He's gonna revive him for 1800. It means this player can actually get all the stuff done way faster. He has combos, fire arrow incoming, and also heavy armor incoming. Now, he has also Legolas level 5, which has crazy DPS. Even though his leadership doesn't count on this army, but he can give Theodin to his army. Later on, he can recruit also Aragorn. What is he doing? Troll? Run, 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 run. Spear troll has been used. Now turn and kill him. Turn and kill him. No drama troll leadership. Look, he's gonna knock all the other trolls down. That's your time to shine. Does he have Hulk Strike? Yes, he has. Boom, boom. Kill him. Dude, this Legolas is having the time of his life. The Legolas. That still only counts as one, my friend. That still only counts as one. Dude, Legolas showed out. <laughs> I like it. Two, two trolls down, just like that, you know, that's, again, so much money and so many power points given, donated to the red Rohan player, who is, by the way, Daniel Epic. He has, in total, two power points collected by starting with draft, getting heal and one power point on top of that. He has also two, co three combos. He can level them up to level four with using three archers, which gives actually a huge experience boost to this normal human archers. He will, he will be doing it. Level four, you see? Massive power spike. And he has also the spear throw from his ally Elwin and also Elma. There are three combos, but they have not even heavy armor. That's your time to fight. That's your time to shine. Bring Theorin. And this player doesn't go for... He was going for all the other heroes besides the three hunters. So he has all the Rohan heroes, Elma, Elwin, and Theorin. Look this damage. Look this damage. He has to use heal already. Um, now fight. Fight, fight, fight. You have heavy armor. He killed, he lost Theorin. No, oh, he didn't lose Theorin. Run, Theorin. Turn and fight, turn and fight. You Oh, Theorin! Uh, trolls having their revenge. Did he go for the trample without upgrades? I think he did. It's a big mistake, my friend. It's a big mistake. Now they've lost the only leadership they had, but they can turn and fight this. No problem with the drama troll is far away. They have no armor leadership. The fire arrows are hitting like a truck, but beautiful shot. But again, no leadership, which means he will die. Legolas, the runes, they are going for the int situation. Level six Legolas has crazy DPS. He has actually a melee damage, I mean, he has higher melee damage and range damage, but 110, don't be fooled out of that, you know? Remember, he's shooting multiple shots in a second. So his DPS per second is so high. Alvin uh, he, units will be recruited now from this player. If he loses Legolas, no, he didn't. He's going for the banner first, which is a big mistake. You want to go for the heavy armor as soon as possible. That's like the only thing you are missing. You can even go heavy armor and demolish this building and go for the well to recover. You will level up anyway, right? You have Drama Troll Leadership, which gives you additional 100% combat experience, by the way. And you have also Eye of Sauron for 50%. So you have 150% combat experience. You just need to kill a worker or a peasant and you will hit level 2 anyway. And you have Mordor as ally. You don't need to be worried about combat experience. You don't need to do this, you know? Okay, now they are just giving too much time. This player keeps making more and more horses. He will revive his Theodin, who's still only level 1. He should go for the Aragorn to support his ally with. Um, but his ally has already Aragorn. He has also multiple Elven warriors. Remember, Aragorn leadership, Theorin leadership is still very, very strong. I would also consider Gimli as a very reliable hero in those kind of situations because level 5 Gimli can melt all these combos. Um, and I will give you guys a quick tip later on how to use the leap attack with Gimli in the most efficient way to get the most damage out of it, okay? Because most people using it the wrong way. But I will have to explain this later on. After the fight, we will be able to observe. Three combos. Level 4 each of them. 
and 4 Albin Warriors with Theodin leadership for 40% damage and 50% armor, and Aragorn leadership for 50% more damage, and Legolas leadership for the Elves for 20% more damage. So Elves have in total 110% more damage, which is quite a lot, right? There are no Mumma kills, there is no Witch King yet, but he's gonna be joining the battlefield very, very soon. Theorin is running it down. Kill, 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 kill. That's your perfect time to shine. He's gonna use the Alvin uh, Tinted Land. There comes the Roar ability. The trolls are smashing now because they have no leadership. The enemy combos. They are dying in a second. Theorin is gonna die in a second. There comes the Atialas from Aragorn to save this dude. Drummer Troll is very tanky. Theorin goes down. Drummer against Aragorn. Drummer has leadership from the other Drummer. From Witch King, he's very, very tanky. It's a big, 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 disastrous fight. Aragorn can't be killed from Legolas Hoax, right? Because he's very tanky. You can see the damage incoming like crazy. And like I said before, level 5 in a single second. Level 5. Level 5. Level 3. Leveling up is not a problem. They lost their Gimli once again. What happened in the meantime? Dude, in the meantime, the Rohan was rushing the enemy castle. I'm a blind man, I didn't see it. I'm, I'm getting old, I'm 33 years old by the way guys. I am really, really old. Theodin only level two, but if he gets level four, Eoma is spear throwing the troll. He's gonna get level two out of that, level three out of that actually. He's leveling up like crazy. There comes the heal ability. And for now, they need to disengage. I would go for the finishing move on the slaughterhouse actually, before I leave, because I think it's very important. Uh, Hawk Strike hurting Theodin quite a bit, but it's not able to finish him. What is Eoma doing over here? He's running it down for Death and glory, I guess. And Legolas, level 5. The other Legolas is level 6, remember that. Level 7 unlocks the Arrow Wind, which is not very important in those kind of situations because the enemy has too much leadership, unless you can, you know, kind of catch a hero with this ability. If you can catch any hero, Legolas, even Witch King, with this ability all alone, exclusive shot on one target, Witch King will die from 100 to 0. That's how crazy strong Arrow Wind is. But you gotta be level 7 for this one as well. Right? He's gonna revive his Theorin who's level 2. Again, I believe two Gimli's could actually be kind of coming in clutch in those kind of situations. Because you have the money, they don't cost command points, there is no reason to not recruit this. He doesn't even have power points for the for the Alvin Hood, right? So now the attack is coming in clutch from the Rohan Mordor team. We have Alvin Alliance special summon from the blue Rohan player. Um, Hippie Snakes, you should go for the Elven Wood instead of Elven Alliance. What is Elven Alliance gonna do in those situations for you? Oh! Not even close, baby. No man can kill me. But Eowyn is not a man. She almost one-shotted you. I mean, not a one-shot. There comes the moment kill, Pen. Remember, uh, when you find yourself in a situation like this as Rohan Mortar, you wanna just stay on the Elf enemy, uh, on your land. Dude, what a rundown, man. What, what, what are you thinking, bro? How in the world are you expecting to win this? What is Aragorn doing? Kill him! I can't believe they didn't kill him. Here comes Elvin Wood, but the Rohan player from the Mord ally can also cover this. Aragorn is running it down. They are not understanding the game's purpose. Just, this is math, okay? This is like basic mathematics, okay guys? And in this situation, you need to understand one thing. You are fighting against a fully leadership buffed. So Mordor is providing his ally 150% damage leadership right now. There is a Theorin for under 40, a Legolas for under 20. So your elves will melt everything beside Balrog and AOD. Nothing can approach. So you need to use your heroes in a more defensive way. You want to put your heroes beside your, behind your army. Your army is the main damage dealers and your heroes have only a sportive uh, purpose in those kind of situations when you have a 2v2 situation against Mordor and you are not Isengard you can't use your heroes aggressively I will restore hope for men I will restore hope for men and this player will even get now greater amount of leadership he's just sitting on the base and waiting for Aragorn to join and we will have also some Mumma kills coming up very very soon Mumma kills can actually be a crazy damage dealer in those kind of situations does he have horseman shields the answer is yes he needs them but even Horseman Shields, look the damage from Legolas. They are running it down at this point. What are you expecting? Level 7 Legolas. This player lost his Aragorn, unfortunately for him. Uh, Daniel has land on cooldown. Piguero, I think this is the Rohan player at the top left side, has not the power points yet for his Anduril or for the Alvin Wood. Um, again, remember, this is the Alvin Wood. If you zoom in a bit, you can see the 
blue color from this player which can give you the information you know when you don't know when you are not sure who's elvin wood is that you can see this this way he was able to cloak the hobbit but again uh, right clicking on ability will reveal him he might go for the end allies here right does he have en enough money for this the answer is yes he has middle camp full base with level three farms money is not a problem so they are looking to open eventual um opening for the rohan castle right if you break two parts of the wall this rohan with the horses can always go inside whenever he wants Eowyn using the i am no Mom man moment and sniping witch king a little bit but dying right after the mumma kill is getting angry now the trolls are charging in like crazy aragorn has to be bealing there is no statue statue here would be amazing oh okay never mind he's dead hero level four glorious charge could be helpful they have lost all the drama trolls and everything they have only the witch king leadership remaining level 10 combos though there comes the arrow volley from legolas who might die kill the witch king 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 which king. king's dead but drama troll is coming again they have crazy leadership in those situations there comes the end allies aragorn is tanky but he's not tanky enough he can't tank all of this damage he will die in a second power points potentially rising for daniel let me take a look into this one yes the power points are rising indeed level 10 elven warrior something we don't see very often the drama troll is making the difference but he lost all of that um he also lost his Ar no he didn't lose his aragorn so level nine level nine and level six the middle camp will be taken down but remember they have not enough leadership anymore now great defense all of us are in in the meantime the castle is gonna fall in to pieces but you need to use the fist there is zero reason why you should ever use the rock throw you want to destroy at least two parts of the wall remember that right you need to do this but this rohan player should be doing in my opinion is at least recruit elma put elma next to your combos even though you might say but elma has no purpose in those situations because he, there is no horses you can spot but he has the outlaw leadership which can give you money for killing enemy units and he only needs level three to be this you know there comes the end um, uh, summon from hippie snakes this is the rohan player who's summoning ends for defense but the ends they kind of useless you should go for them um, cloud break in my in my opinion oh, hold on a second hippie snakes is uh, hippie snakes is the blue one and daniel epic has also now power points for the ends if he wants to but again i think and i'm afraid that the ends are gonna get one shotted the good thing is he destroyed the archer range right that's pretty decent um remember there is a level four theorine from piguero so he has the glorious charge but he's not trying to use it he's gonna use heal and disengage the rohirrim archers are very vulnerable against fire arrows so normal rohirrim would do a much greater job in those situations the ends if they burn they will still give power points to the enemy player so piguero will get power points from this one you see from losing from killing the ends umakil is coming umakil is getting damaged a little bit but theorin is running it down for a reason man he has also a tree beard he recruited tree beard before the end mode has been destroyed that's pretty decent and tree beard is not bad he has a really long range he can throw rocks from a, from a mile away outrange every single uh, siege weapon in the game and also with tree beard around the ends will have more tankiness and also more range and on top of that you can also put mary he has now gimli upon the field gimli is level one aragorn is to be revived for like i think the third time this aragorn is level six and this legolas almost level 10. multiple trolls again the wood is from the rohan mordor team you get to see more mumma kills if the mumma kill pan hits level three it won't only produce units 50 percent faster but every single mumma kill coming out of the mumma kill pan will be level two and also look at this recruit time 55 seconds dropping down to 28 seconds with the moment kill pan being level three that's how crazy it is there comes the end summon he's gonna try to break yet another part of the wall the mortar is using a very questionable land over here the moment kill Mumma killing everything now he's raging he's gonna rage 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 but he's gonna run into a different direction i think yeah he's gonna run wild but in the meantime that's a big mistake just break two three parts of the wall like the communication in this situation is very important i want you to understand why it's important to break multiple parts of the wall because each part of the wall will require 2000 resources for rohan to repair 
and this Rohan is not that rich, right? Let me take a look into this money. This is Hippie Snakes, right? He has only 1,200. So if you break two parts of the wall, he will need 4,000 to repair it. So that means your ally can go for regular horses, spam normal horses, not Rohirrim Arches. You don't need Rohirrim Arches. You just need normal horses. You give them full upgrades, including Horseman Shield. You use Glorious Charge. You go for one, two, three, four, five, six horses. You go inside, use Glorious Charge, and you send each horse on different um, thing. And if, you know, doesn't matter how strong your army is. If your castle falls, you will be defeated. That's what you need to do. That, that's, that was their win condition. He's summoning for whatever reason the elves. That's a big mistake. Huge army of elves, actually. What is Aragorn doing over here? Hippie snakes. Hippie snakes. Hippie dads. Hippie dads. Aragorn. Dude, I lo you love to see Moomer girls. You love to see Lego. Legolas is like, this is not the films, my friend. This is not the films. But he killed Aragorn in exchange. We will see e EOD very soon eventually. Daniel, this is the red program player. He's like six power points and a quarter away from it. Aragorn is being chunked. Huge army with leadership against huge army also with leadership. But Theoden dies. The trolls are smashing everything. But they will die in a second. Too much leadership. Statue, Aragorn, Theoden, everything around this location the rohan player is getting power points like crazy almost seven power points in the bank level 10 combos they are very tanky but they are not tanky enough this is just too much firepower including rohirrim arches but again for me rohirrim arches are a big mistake again normal rohirrim would have the chance to crush the castle we get to see more mumma kills mumma kill pan is now finally level two yeah, you need to kill him before he comes to you. Aragorn, be careful. Aragorn. Oh, he gets knocked down on the ground. Is this gonna be the one? He's angry, 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 angry. And he's eating the king of the West for breakfast. Dude, uh, <laughs> the Mumu kills. <laughs> I love Mumu kills so much. Okay. Okay. This game is a absolute clown fiesta look the tankiness of the yeoman archers with this much leadership witch king kill him what is witch king doing okay this game is full of mistakes there comes the end summon from hippie snakes on top of the enemy army enemy army is very mobile fortunately the elves are very very agile legolas what is elma doing elma don't do it don't try this at home that's gonna feed a lot of power points now. Kill the ants. This PowerPoint donation. PowerPoint donation. Six power points for Daniel Epic. And also, um Piero is getting lots of power points, right? Mumma kill has, has been killed. Level highly leveled Rohirrim Archer are very scary. Level 9 Rohirrim Archer, but unfortunately he has no Elma leadership, I think, right? Yeah, he has actually on my leadership. What is this doing? Use Glorious Charge at least, you will die. Look, he's so tanky against those normal Legoda Arches. But I, I didn't see him using one time Glorious Charge yet. Not a single time. He's demolishing everything. You can see leadership is very important in those situations. A huge Alvin army. But there is a Mumma kill. Nice dodge this time. Nice dodge. There is a level 1 Legolas from Pigiero too. Uh, but he's gonna die in a second. Theodin is running it down. Never mind. Legolas is killed. I think that's gonna unlock the EOD, right? Now, nah, almost. Hippie Snakes almost has the EOD. Legolas level 10. There comes the Glorious Charge. Spear throw on Legolas, but he's quite tanky with level 10. He has 1800 health, which is not very really a lot. And now is 3000. There comes the Arrow Volley. Lanes. We see multiple different lands being used. I don't know whose land this is. I, I can't really tell you, but I think Mordor never covered the land. So I believe this is the land from the double uh, Rohan. Let's kill the Nazgul first. I think he has EOD now. Yeah, he has EOD now. He's gonna use EOD to kill everything. That has to be satisfying. Look, the power points are rising to the sky. Bam, 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 bam. Aragorn can kill some of them, but even Aragorn falls. This Legolas is running his fleet footwork, but of course he's not fast enough to disengage from the EOD. If EOD chases him, Gimli is quite tanky, but EOD doesn't even bother killing him. Just killing the army. Legolas, keep running, my friend, keep running. And now there is the counter commitment chance. But 
remember there is the, there is not big army from the rohan again i can't believe it but this was their win condition Cloudbreak available now for the rohan mordor team as well mordor by the way is almost darkness which means even greater amount of leadership now the combination of darkness and Cloudbreak, if you have in one team like for example this rohan is using Cloudbreak while his ally is using uh, darkness they can both be active at the same time while darkness will make the rohan combo stronger the cloud plague from rohan will make the enemy combos horses weaker so nerfing the enemy armor is pretty much like buffing your own damage so this is going to be the strongest form rohan mordor can have the only thing that can really fight against this effectively would be eud from daniel epic um, he was able to save his Legolas, but Aragorn has been killed. Gimli has been killed. Gimli was even chilling in the base. Beautiful shot. He should catch him with the arrow wind. If he would catch him with the arrow wind, this Legolas would be dead, by the way. Does he have money for repairing this? No, he doesn't have. So Hippie Snakes doesn't have money for the repairing. You can see the Rohirrim Archer are very strong, but they are not there their main purpose is not to demolish or destroy structures if this would be normal rohirrim this base would fall in fall apart before the enemy could make it to his location he's gonna summon the ends daniel epic too just to support his ally with the push in the meantime i think this player doesn't pay attention to this location he's like committing to the middle camp without really caring about what is happening inside inside the castle if his castle falls does he have eowyn here nice shot he's gonna summon now the elves for defensive purposes which king will fall no he's very smart i mean very lucky i would i don't know what to say okay the ends are crushing the remaining things which king kill him one shot one shot one shot kill which king there comes the screech uh, the, the stun from the cloud break in the meantime they are still committing Aragorn will get one shot from Piguero. He's tanky but not tanky enough. They have no leadership. They have leadership from the statue actually, Theorin. And Legolas died. Big fiesta. In the meantime, the uh, two Faros remaining only. There comes the EOD. That's a big one. And he will lose everything. Hippie Snakes will be defeated now. He will leave the game. He's tilted. <laughs> He's tilted. You know, that's the, that's the thing, right? He never repaired the structure. He, I would just repair this. I would not make any more units. I would repair this just to get rid out of this situ uh, awkward situation. My beast might be in trouble. Or I would ask my ally to give me one drummer troll, make a statue here, make a wall banner here, right in the opening, put one elf with the statue here, wall banner here, and a drummer troll who can one shot everything. Now it's a 2v1 situation. The double Rohan team is about to win this one. I mean, this game is, you know, kind of including lots of big mistakes, but those big mistakes sometimes are able to make the game way more entertaining. I am no man. I'm a woman. I can't cook. But I'm a woman. She's a powerful woman. She's the, I think she's the legit Loki after Galadriel, the most powerful woman we have seen in the trilogy. She was the only one. I mean, she was helping a lot right um she was a warrior man you gotta respect those kind of women there comes the ensign in mordo holy moly did he heal him oh my level five mumu kill holy moly <laughs> You can trample them, by the way, too, right? You can trample them. You can go over the ends. The Mumakil is the only one that can... Oh, Eowyn, again, I am no mo man moment. Level 7, the Shield Maiden is unlocked. By the way, Shield Maiden is going to give her now something like a glorious charge. So it's a bit improved in the patch 2.2. She will get more tanky, of course, during this situation. 50% more armor. But most important, you can crash now without getting slowed down. Very similar to the ability from the glorious charge. Um, so the red Rohan player Daniel Epic was able to capture the settlement for himself now it's a 2v1 situation Mordor can't do anything about this I think they had the win condition um, 
But of course, you know, you can't underestimate the leadership they have too in this area. Statue, well, permanent recovery, permanent leadership. Oh boy. Turn and crush Aragorn. Eoma, the Mumai Kill Slayer. The Mumai Kills actually did a phenomenal job this game. A phenomenal job this game. I mean, Mordor started strong with the Haradrims. I think the Haradrims did a phenomenal job. Um, because they were able to creep a lot, right? They were able to defend the early game. Went pretty smooth for the Mordor. But later on... Um, the, the problem is... Guys, I will explain you one thing. Um, Anorian is a map that is designed around the middle camp. And that always kind of indicates or forces the players to play around the middle camp. But let me tell you one thing. Mortal Rohan didn't have to commit to the middle camp. What they could be doing is go to the main castle. Like leave two, three elves on the land where your land was with drummer troll. And you use a couple of trolls to break through the parts of the wall. And you just go inside and you can destroy the entire castle in a second. Because in the middle they are the strongest. It's like a very clumped area with lots of sustain, lots of leadership, and lots of army. So if they come to you in an unprotected area, you will you will just demolish everything. So if they have two choices. Either they ignore this, let you destroy this, and try to go in exchange for your castle, but you have some defense, or they try to contest you, but they will lose their army because your army is just much more stronger if they have no statue and no well, you know? Mumma kill pen is level 3. Yes, he he's gonna have the second Mumma kill very, very soon. The Mumma is missing the charge. But again, you can even go over the. Actually, it doesn't hurt them. The ends are big ones as well. The troll is dying. <laughs> he's trampling just heroes like left and right. I, when you charge the ends, it will hurt. Oh! Uh, He's not done until he's done, boys. He's not done until he's... He's gonna die instantly. The reason here is simple, because Legolas is keep shooting. Legolas doesn't deal fire damage, but he's dealing crazy high damage. If Legolas is shooting with this high level, Mumma kills can't rage anymore. Okay, that's gonna be the end, boys. He lost the Mumma kill pen. He has 15 power points, but unfortunately, he won't get to the point in which he can summon the Balrog. The Alvin army, the Rohirrim archer army, the ends, all of that has been needed to finally walk into Mordor. Boromir wasn't right. One guy, one does simply walk into Mordor. Aragorn is celebrating for Frodo. You bow to no one. King Eresar. Let me heal your wounds. And that's gonna be it, boys. GG well played, double Rohan won, that's actually pretty impressive because normally usually the double Rohan shouldn't be able to win this right, just mathematically speaking not, but they did, a good micro is very important, keeping your heroes alive is very important, mistakes were made, eco advantage coming come in handy, and most of a 2-3 GA has been defeated, GG well played, I hope you enjoyed, if you did make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more videos like this in the future, I will see you next time, until then, Take care of yourself. Keep eating like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.